Alright, welcome back. We're going to get into food today and everything that encompasses it, how I procure most of my food, uh, how I organize it, and lastly, how I cook it. Um, let's just get actually into, let's get into the bear camp first. This is the BB500 Bear Vault 500. It is one of a few um, approved bear, uh, or rather food containers for many trails um, and rather national parks is where it's really important. A lot of national parks and now some uh, more developed wildernesses are switching to requiring backpackers to have the bear vault or similar style container. The other option uh, that I use is the Ursac uh, bear bag and I much prefer this. It's a lot lighter weight. I can carry at least as much food as I can in the bear vault, but, and it's, you know, collapsible. If it's my bag better, all around, I prefer this. But we'll go over the benefits of the bear vault and talk about this one, as this is what is required in a lot of places now. So, although I do suggest this, once again, Ursac, you are Sac. Um, yeah, great product, really awesome deal here. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go over this. I carry this because it's becoming required more often, and I'd I'd like to just comply. Although I think a properly hung and and utilized bear bag is maybe even more effective. Uh, but unfortunately, not enough people take the responsible route and and properly hang their bear bag. Don't get me wrong, I've been guilty of it, uh, but because of these actions now, we're having to lug around this huge thing. It's a monster. Let me weigh it for you. Because it's been a while since I weighed it. This will be the most accurate reading. Maybe it will. <laughs> there you go. See, between my sleeping system and my food, now granted this is, I think about seven days I have packed in here. That's 12 pounds. So just between, sorry, just between those two systems, food and sleepwear or sleep system, that's 24 pounds of my 46-ish pound pack. That's more than, well, yeah, more than half. That's more than half my weight. Drives me nuts. I digress. Okay, one great thing about the bear vault, you got a you got a kind of a stash spot. I use this like my cutting board or my organizing um, tray on my cooking station. So I really do enjoy that. This is the Arcadia Outdoors mess kit. It's like a third of that kit. It's pretty much just the um, pot. I have big orange plastic handles. I ended up just burning them off eventually. Uh, but this thing has done me super well. It is aluminum, so I'm looking to head towards a titanium. I'd love to carry steel. It's just a little heavy. But I'm not a huge fan of cooking on aluminum. But this pot's done me really, really well. So, you know, that's something. Uh, just a little container here of honey. Uh, Dollar Tree container. No big deal. It doesn't leak for honey, but I've used it for oil, and it's no good. So be aware of your oil containers. I've had numerous fails. Nalgene. Nalgene little bottles are the way to go. This holds my olive oil. I believe it's two ounces. Perfect. It's never leaked on me. I'm super stoked for it. Um, this is basically a pill organizer from Dollar Tree. I have here Italian mix, cayenne, some ibuprofen, so kind of part of a um, first aid section here. Although if you see my first aid kit, I also have a, a leave. Ibuprofen actually works better for me, but anyway, it's in my mess kit because it, it fits in here nice. Sugar, garlic, and salt. I'm getting away from that, and as we talk about this, I'll, show, I'll tell you why. Um, silicone baking cups for like muffin cups. These work awesome for making muffins. I made some awesome muffins of going to on this uh, weekend's camping trip. They were topped 
nice muffin tops on them. You know, put them inside the lid like this. Put the lid over the top, like in a little oven. Baked it by the fire, it worked great. Uh, aluminum foil, that's how I carry it inside my uh, pot there. And the pot itself, good sized pot. It is, you know, far larger than anything that I really need. I could probably cook for three people in this pot. I've definitely cooked for two people and it's plenty of space. Good size, fits in the bear can well. I believe that's probably just looking at it. I'd say it's a four and a half, maybe just a four inch diameter. Maybe even five, no, that's actually probably five inch diameter. Uh, it's good size, good size pot. I really do enjoy it. It's done me very well. It's been holding solid for being aluminum. Um, a wash rag. I keep a bandana in here as a, you know, cleaning my hands of food, cleaning my pots at the end of the night. Uh, it's good to have a wash rag. It definitely um, helps you apply. I use charcoal or sand a lot, and uh, it helps you just kind of keep that in one place. And as you're scrubbing, you also have to use your hands, which is nice. Um, utensils, I'm just gonna do this right now. I do carry noodles, but uh, we're gonna get rid of the chopsticks today. You know, uh, thank you, thank you guys. You're here with me as I'm just getting rid of kit items. So chopsticks, you don't need them. Carve them out of wood, you're fine. It's just straight sticks, it's no big deal. But my spoon, this is to go, to go where? Uh, it's a bamboo spoon. It's long enough for some of the mountain house meals, which we'll talk about later, or those kind of uh, backpacker dehydrated uh, zip top bags. Pre-made meals is essentially what they are. This is long enough to do that, although I know people that utilize those often um, have a longer spoon for that. I don't, and this is fine. Great spoon, great spoon. Always carry an extra trash Ziploc. It's just a, it's a nice way to organize your trash, your hot sauce packets, your, um, you know, tea, um, tea bag, foils. It's just good to have a, tr a designated trash bag. You will open up bags later, but I like to save my bags and that helps me do that. Um, so in my kit, let's get in. We're gonna go ahead and just get into the food itself. Um, this is fruit for about seven days. Um, we'll see. This is this is not as much as I took on my last seven day. I took about that much. So I added some just because I, I really like snacking on dehydrated fruit uh, and I like putting it in my oatmeal and stuff like that. So it's a really important part of my food as far as I'm concerned. I like to have fruit on hand because it's tasty, it's nutritious, and it gives you, it just gives you a good feeling of being satisfied, full, you know, it really helps your snack, your, as a snack, it's really nice. Cookies and crackers and stuff do great for snack, but nothing to me beats dry, dehydrated fruit and trail mix. Um, speaking of snacks, this is my snacks, so nuts and fruit. I'm gonna put this in my bag now before I forget about it. That just goes inside the side pouch on my on my pack. I kind of mentioned that in that um, episode, but yeah, that's that's the snack kit. So I'll eat that snack throughout the day, and then at the end of the night, when I'm going for a little dehydrated fruit or something, I'll refill that snack pack, and I won't put it back in the bag. It'll go in my bear can, but I'll have it set, set aside for the next day. It's kind of nice just to kind of keep you aware of where your food levels are because even though you're fine, you could, you know, a lot of people, and I've even, you know, kind of eaten everything and then had, you know, slim pickings the last day. It's not a big problem. All of us could do with, you know, not eating for a day. We'll be all right, I promise you. But it is nice to just help monitor yourself and it, it just keeps your stomach at a certain level of, this is how much I'm eating every day. You know, on a week's trip, you could not necessarily alter your eating habits, but it's good to stay consistent with them. Um, just for, just keeping the flow of things, we'll keep on with the snacks. So this is my seven day uh, nuts. So fruit, 
and nuts, I mean, you know, I could probably go the same size with the nuts, but I felt like it was pretty good last trip, so I just bumped it through a little bit. Uh, into the main bag, it's my main food bag, meals, as you can see here. So I have all my um, breakfasts on the front, rather on the front, it's front, back, doesn't matter. Breakfast's on one half, dinner's on the other half. So this is oatmeal with dehydrated peanut butter, uh, chia seeds, cinnamon, sugar, pretty much everything ready to rock right there. Uh, so I just throw it in my pot, throw some water on top of it, and frankly, it's it seems to be, I could just let it soak and it would be fine to eat. The oats don't really take a lot of cooking, but they are real oats. It's not quick cooked oats or anything. I didn't want to mess with that. I don't, I'm not into that. Um, this is scone mix. So this makes muffins. This makes scones. It's super easy to make. Look up a recipe. Um, this is the hmm, Joy of Cooking. Super classic cookbook. Joy of Cooking scones. Best scones, if you ask me. Hands down, you can't beat them. But yeah, that's a, that's a really nice treat on the trail. You just mix them with some water until they're a nice hold together paste, but still globby. You know, they wouldn't uh, hold a ball. If you formed it into a ball, it wouldn't do that, but it wouldn't just run everywhere either. You could probably make pancakes with them too. It's just a very versatile, basic, uh, you know, breakfast mix, if you will. It makes a big difference on the trail though. So yeah, I've got a bunch of oatmeals in here. I've got the scones. So that's four oatmeals, two scones. We have five oatmeals in here. Yeah, it looks like I have five oatmeals in here. So I do like oatmeal on the trail. It doesn't bother me to eat it every day. Um, then for dinners, you got dehydrated black beans. Um, we got potato, mashed potatoes. Um, this is a noodles, like I was saying earlier, and a coconut curry mix. So powdered coconut milk, curry powder, I think that might even have peanut butter in it, so like a peanut butter curry. You know, that's just, that's silly. You don't even eat that at home most of the time. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's really spoiling yourself on the trail. It's good too, it's good to do that. You want that. You know, look at this, tortellini and veggies. You know, that's messed up. Tortellini on the trail, that's just weird. It's great though, it really is. It makes a big difference. The, the, I like to be kind of fancy with my food. Um, and you know, with this system, everything's dehydrated, everything's super compact. Uh, wild rice here, black beans, lentils, French lentils with veggies, uh, minestrone soup, you know? The sky's the limit. I mean, I don't have a favorite yet because I don't think I've really taken the same thing multiple times. I feel like I definitely switch it up often. So yeah, you just, you know, one side's dinner, one side's breakfast. And as you eat, you just take your the bag and you put it back in here. You don't put that in the trash because we'll save those bags and reuse them. Uh, that's just a good idea. You, we don't need to be throwing more plastic out into the world. You know, that's not that's not something we want to contribute to. We'd like to backtrack that a little bit if we can. So yeah, that's that's uh, breakfast and dinner. I don't really pack a lunch, if I'm going to be completely honest. This is a little heavy because I kind of went that route, although I don't have seven days of lunches. Um, I am going to take a few tortillas. I have uh, some things to go with that we'll, we'll discuss here. Um, and I think actually those refried beans are for a lunch. Um, but yeah, I don't generally, it's not huge. I'm not that hungry on the trail. These meals, these breakfasts and dinners are pretty hearty. They're definitely not slouching, and I have a lot of extra dehydrated fruit and nuts for snacks. Um, this here is where I definitely went a bit overboard. I think I've got like 14 different types of tea and hot cocoa, which is killer on the trail. Hot cocoa is the way to go. Uh, crushed red pepper flakes from Round Table. There's a plug for you there, Round Table. Uh, you know, 100% grated Parmesan cheese. I've got Taco Bell hot sauce packets, soy sauce, you know condiments they make a big difference if you like mustard which i love mustard but i don't not with anything that i've got going on right now mustard packets ketchup packets i mean you can almost get anything in a packet these days so yeah i say go for it you know the sky's the limit with food don't limit yourself because you think oh i can't cook or whatever 
this stuff is easy, easy. And we'll go over cooking and how to cook this, this kind of meals, these kind of meals rather. Um, because yeah, it's not hard. It's not, it's really easy, easy peasy stuff. Um, so I have my veg. Some of it is mixed in with my food. Those are some, I'm kind of in a transition period right now with my food, but I have veg in my new system separate as its own standing entity. And this is plenty of vegetables. I mean, this is, we got broccoli, mushrooms, uh, bell peppers, cauliflower, squash. There's kale in here. There's spinach. There's red onion. I mean, I've got all kinds of vegetables and I don't split them up if I want to like, oh, I want broccoli and rice tonight. I'll go through and pick out the broccoli. You know, I don't, I don't think that that's a, a problem. It, you know, most of the time you have a lot of time on your hands. So go ahead and pick out your veg. It's not going to kill you. Um, I do have some cookies in here. These are ginger snap cookies. They're good. They're really nice on the trail. It's a good crunchy texture, good flavor. Um, I won't be carrying them in the future. They're just not worth it to me. Just like these crackers. I love them. They're super hearty and definitely pack heartier crackers. Triscuits work really well. Um, but these are just some everything bagel kind of crackers and they're really nice and hearty. Uh, they do me very well. Paired with hummus, these are awesome. But once again, I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth it to me. Um, I could I could carry something else, uh, maybe another rehydrated or dehydrated bean, uh, refried beans, or more hummus or something, and it would be totally, totally more worth it to me. Uh, speaking of hummus, here's hummus. This is about four days worth. Uh, it's good. There's some bad ones out there. There's some good ones out there. Just keep trying. Um, I do enjoy hummus on the trail a lot. That's nice. With the crackers, it is nice, but with tortillas, it's better. Uh, we're not gonna get into that just yet. This is, these are rather mostly for breakfast. They're dehydrated bananas. They're whole bananas. It's crazy. Like here to here, that's one whole banana. It's awesome. You know, once again, the nutrients there, you know, potassium, you're, you're just tearing your body up out there. So it's good to kind of replenish those muscles and you know just another another fruit another vegetable diversity is key i believe uh popcorn okay huge this is awesome it's huge sorry didn't mean to do that just kidding um yeah popcorn in this it's awesome you throw some some oil in the bottom there throw your popcorn in about this is probably about four portions close to a quarter cup and you just shake it you know put on the coal shake it let's sit shake it let's sit and you'll start hearing it pop. Just keep shaking it, letting it sit, shaking it, letting it sit. And it is killer. It's a really nice end of the night snack. Or me and my uncle will be playing cards or something. And we're having popcorn, snacking on some popcorn, and playing cards. It's like you're at home. It's great. It's really a nice touch for the trail. Um, snack bag or snack bag, sweet bag. I'm pretty limited on my sweets right now. I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but it's okay. Uh, candy ginger that I get at the co-op here in town. Uh, it's super good ginger too. Really nice. It's still got the heat. It's got the flavor. It's really nice and sweet, but it's not It's not over the top one way or the other and then red hots. I'm a big red hot fan. My girlfriend got me those It was a good call. There's a whole big bag in here of them um, Granola bars. I love granola bars on the trail these cliff mojo bars I'm not a fan of cliffs normal bar but the Mojo Bar is super good. My co-op only carries two flavors. That's the two flavors I would take then. Super good. Kind Bars, I know that, you know, Kind is kind of under some fire right now, but they have super good, it's a super good bar. Um, vanilla Madagascar, Madagascar Vanilla with Almond. That's gonna be my first day one. We're gonna put that in the side pouch. Super good. So yeah, real good stuff. Uh, one for every day. That's it. So empty stickers, they're fun. This is great though for carrying water, um, putting out your fire. Like if you, you know, not if you, you should, you ought to make sure your fire is completely out. There, you know, I'm seeing wildfires all around me like crazy right now and it's driving me nuts. Take this thing to, to the river, the lake, whatever it is, fill it up, dump it on your fire. Do this two or three times. You know, I mean, that's a really nice, uh, utilization of this. If your water source is far away too, go ahead, scoop it up, bring it back to camp, 
pump right out of it. There you go. You got if you're especially if you're stationary at your camp for you know a day or two. Granted, you, you want to put your food in it at some point, so it's not good for overnight. But to bring it, you know, everybody can pump off of it for this is probably three four gallons almost. So that's a good that's a good bit of water, and you can bring it right to camp. You can dump it on your fire. Uh, you know, you need to carry something in here first. And it, who knows? Who knows what the reason comes up? But if it does come up you have it. Uh, so it is a nice container. It's a nice solid waterproof water storing container. Yeah, it's definitely, and, and it's bear proof. I mean, this thing is solid, uh, but it's, it's just huge. It just takes up so much space. I'm not a fan, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's done me really well. Uh, this is my toiletries. So TP, I take it off the roll. I don't, I'm not going to carry the cardboard roll. That's silly. And I'm not going to carry a whole roll of TP. This is probably, this is a lot of toilet paper for me. It'll last me though, which is great. I refill it when it starts to get a little low. Uh, yeah, really nice compact. Some uh, Q-tips, cotton ear swabs, cotton swab tipped sticks, whatever, you know. Uh, tweezers, these are really fine point tweezers. Not so much for tweezing anything, but something that's in a cut or something, you know, that's kind of in a fine place. It's not really like a, you're not gonna pluck your eyebrows with it. Uh, but I do have a toenail clipper here. It's the angled one because it's, not, it's the one in my kit at home that I don't use, so I figured I'd use it here. Uh, toothbrush that I have cut off the end so it's just more compact. Doesn't really necessarily have a light weight or anything. Uh, toothpaste, just uh, the Crest toothpaste. Make sure you squeeze the air out. There's a lot of excess air in these tubes. Squeeze the air out and you'll get a little bit more uh, of a compact fit out of it. But this probably has another two weeks of uh, toothpaste in it. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little more. And some dental floss. This is just a sample dental floss, but I found that you can open it up and re-spool it, and that's been that's been awesome. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, one thing that's not in here is this goat milk soap that I get, and it's um, wrapped in a kind of like a wool, so it's already got a scrubby kind of built in. The soap's inside of it. I'm gonna add that to my kit, probably in its own separate bag, just because I'll be putting it away wet. Um, that'll be a really nice way to stay clean on the trail. It's already got the scrubby built in. Um, I got mine for Christmas and I'm just now getting a new one. It lasts for a long time. It's about, you know, about this big. So it's gonna take up a little bit of space, but for cleaning yourself up on the trail, granted you can just use water and a, and a scrubby. I have a body bandana that I used for that instead. Um, but yeah, it definitely, definitely helps keep you, you just feel good. When you give yourself a scrub down after three, four days, it's nice. It really is kind of refreshing. I always wash my face every day. That's, you know, first thing in the morning kind of thing, or, you know, you're kind of up at camp for a little while, you're mulling around. You go get that first morning water repump, uh, re and you just give yourself a nice little face wash, and it's, it's invigorating, and you just, you feel more clean. So, you've seen all the food that I'm carrying in here, and then I just want to show you how I store it outside of it and you know a little bit more into what it is. Uh, so these are nuts. Um, it's kind of my my re-up on them. I don't, I don't have the sunflower seeds in my current mix, but I'm pretty excited about that. I've recently developed a cashew allergy, so there's no cashews in here, but we got almonds, we got walnuts, peanuts, um, sunflower seeds. I was carrying pistachios for a while, but I hated dealing with the shell, so I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but yeah, I just toast them myself. It's really easy and they're a little cheaper. You get them in bulk. You can get them uh, toasted in bulk too and they're just fine. But I find that when you toast them, you can kind of control the level of toasting. And I like a darker toasted um, nut, if you will. It's, it's nice. It's just a better flavor. Uh, you know, Kind bars and Mojo bars. And I just, every time I go to the store, I pick these up. Uh, my fruit is getting a little low. But once again, I just source that from the co-op bulk section. I've got rice in here. I've got sun-dried tomatoes. There's powdered peanut butter. There's chia seeds. You know, I have all kinds. Just basically what I have here, but I have it separated. So I have like my own little backpacking section 
of you know my food stuff that I can go to and re up my stock, uh, which is really nice. But more importantly, and more exciting rather, is my dehydrated vegetable situation. Now right now it's got a lot of um, spinach on top. I got spinach on a super good deal at the co-op. Um, had somebody order a crazy amount for some festival that was in town and then that person backed out on how much they had ordered so they're giving away hella cheap and I figured I'll just dehydrate it. My plan is to crush it up more and just kind of distribute it throughout so it's kind of in everything I have just for those uh, nutrients and vitamins uh, kind of in everything that I eat. It's not really going to be good if I like rehydrate it and like I'm not going to have it like spinach with lentils or something you know but mixed in. But this has everything in it. It's got onions, it's got mushrooms. Mushrooms dehydrate really well. We'll go through a whole section on how to dehydrate and what to dehydrate, um, and as well as the cooking process. Because particular, these type of dehydrated vegetables I found, maybe it's just the size I cut them out or something, but it takes about an hour to rehydrate. About an hour before dinner, I'll start rehydrating my vegetables. Um, unless it's something like corn, that takes about an hour to rehydrate, I will put it in with my black beans that take about an hour to cook. So they're kind of going hand in hand, and you'll we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. But I want to show you my dehydrator, and it's got a batch right now in it, so that you can see. Um, super easy though. I make dinner every night, pretty much, um, and I just prep extra. And so I prep it up, sprinkle it on. I've got all kinds of videos on that kind of prepare we're working on a series for that but yeah sprinkle it on I, I wake up in the morning as it's gone all night I wake up in the morning rotate the trays just to make sure that everybody's getting even heat it's a bunch of cabbage here um, you know as you can see they got a little dark on the bottom but I can I imagine that's gonna taste super good when food has turned this color it's kind of starting to caramelize Maillard reaction is what it's referred to as, and it's the car literally the sugars are kind of caramelizing. So you're getting a lot of that, a lot of awesome sweet flavor out of that. Uh, but yeah, you know, rotate them in the morning when I wake up, when I come home, unplug the machine, let it air out for a little bit, and then there we go. Dehydrated anything you want. I'm gonna get into fruit next. Uh, fruit, I find a little bit tricky. I think it has to do with the sugar content that's in fruit. You have to kind of catch it at the right time, at the right, amount of water being evaporated out, but you don't want to evaporate the sugar to a caramel stage quite because it'll be really hard and crunchy. Uh, I like my fruit, dehydrated fruit, to be kind of you know soft. So I've got to work on playing with that, but the veg portion I feel super comfortable with. This is probably over a month's worth of vegetables. This might be two months worth of vegetables. I mean, I'm taking a pinch out of this every day yeah, not much. And this is this will take me for all, all, all take me a long way. Uh, super happy about it. Super cheap to do, you know. And uh, this thing, this thing is ancient. This is my mom's. I got it. She was getting rid of it, and I was like, I'll take that. This thing must be antique. I mean, it's old. My mom's not that old, but I'm pretty sure she got this from her like great grandmother. So yeah, it's super basic. It's got a heating element in the bottom and some sh and some shelves. You know, nothing fancy there. So. Yeah, we'll definitely get into how to cooking, but this is just an overview of what it is that I carry and how other options you have out there. I mean, trail mix, granola, that's all really simple to, to get, to prepare yourself. Um, you know, granola bars, super cake. Um, but you can get, you know, Mountain House is a, uh, a company. I know REI carries a brand. It might be Mountain House even. Uh, you know, they're freeze dried though. so. The volume that those are taking up is a lot more. You could fit probably 14 mountain houses in your bear can, and that's breakfast and dinner or lunch and dinner. Depends on how you know what you want to do. Some people like some people don't eat breakfast. They get up, they pack up, and they start. They hit the trail. I am a little bit more. I like to have my morning. I like to you know I cook over the fire a lot. I do carry a stove in case I need to, but I like to you know, have the fire, warm up by it, get my tea going in the morning, drink some tea, watch the sunrise, uh, you know, fire up some oatmeal. It takes 10 minutes maybe. Um, you know, enjoy, enjoy my time. The miles are great. The hiking is awesome. I do enjoy just covering miles, 
but it is also really nice to just enjoy where you are because you're in beautiful places often and so so often we see him we go wow we take pictures and we go to sleep we wake up and leave you know I like to enjoy it you know soak it in a little bit so uh, you know just depends on how you want to you know what, what your schedule is I guess but um, yeah I hope you enjoy this uh, I'm super excited about it I'm a trained chef and food is one of my first passions in life so for me to be able to take it with me into my passion about doors and really enjoy it you know not on the same gourmet level but to eat well you know on the trail I love it it's, it's a blast it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah we'll definitely I'll get you excited about scones and I'll have you cooking scones on rocks you're gonna love it it's really it's super fun super good so yeah I hope this was helpful I hope I'm um, showing you how how I have separated it and how I organized it I feel like it's really nice once again I just like things organized I like things kind of in a fashion because when you're out there you you don't want to be fumbling around or digging through bags of just garbage you know to get to the stuff that you want to eat you have it all organized you're like boom this is what I want you pull it out and you prepare it and it's just a more enjoyable experience for me and maybe for you too it might kind of change the way you look at how you've been experiencing your trips so please hit me with any questions any comments ideas uh, if you have some great companies that produce you know freeze-dried food dehydrated vegetables I find those really difficult to to get well so that's why I've started doing my own but let me know if you have something you know something that I don't which I'm sure that every one of you knows something that I don't and I'm interested in knowing so please feel free um, otherwise we're pretty much done with the series I think next time we'll go through the pack and I'll show you just we'll run through everything real fast it won't be this long drawn out this company that company this product that product this is what it's for it'll be here it all is and here's how it goes in as well as there's a few things I want to show you in the pack that you may have noticed that I haven't showed you yet like maps um, there's a, a few tricks that I um, a few pieces yet rather that I really enjoy that we haven't covered but we're pretty much there and I'm, I wanted to say food for the last so I didn't give you food to go into the wilderness with and not explain to you the rest of the kit items because those are more important than the food the food is gonna you know feed you while you're out there but the other things are gonna keep you safe keep you sheltered and just in general provide you a, a comfortable experience so yeah I hope it's been a good time for you and I look forward to producing the next video Thank you so much. Take care.